I'm so excited. I got some fun happy mail. So I just got off the live chat with Amazon and they were very, very nice, but I guess I have to wait a few more days for the microphone to come and I now have a free pair of mints, New Balance shoes that I will be donating, I guess, because they won't fit my husband, but that's cool. So I'm going to get a brand new free pair of shoes and I just have to wait a few more days for my microphone. moment we've all been waiting for. My Amazon order just showed up. I'm hoping it's my real order this time. We are about to find out. I'm a little nervous though because the box. It, it's seen better days. I'm hoping all my stuff is okay inside. Let's find out. Probably the worst unboxing video ever. <laughs> okay. Yay! My new microphone! I'm so excited! And then I just got a cable for my microphone to hopefully connect to my computer. And a nice little tripod for vlogging, because apparently I'm a vlogger now. I don't know why, but I find this really funny. I just found a little gift note in the box. 
a gift for you. Thank you, Amazon. Thank you so much for the free pair of shoes and for also sending me the stuff that I really ordered. I'm thinking that this microphone may be okay because it was on the opposite side of the damaged box. At least it was far away. So I ordered this microphone for both my camera and to hopefully maybe do voiceovers in the future. I saw a different YouTube channel that was using it as a boom mic. I literally know nothing about this stuff, so got a lot of learning to do and I'm hoping, I don't know yet, oh it looks like it should, yay! that I can just screw this on to this little tripod when I'm doing voiceovers for like my stitch tutorials. <gasps> yes! Oh, I'm so excited. This is good. So, I just went to attach the microphone to my camera and I realized that it's not going to totally work with this camera. I just want a new camera. I just want it so bad. This one's like five or more years old which is fine I just they're just a bunch of weird things that I'm not super in love with this camera and another one is that the viewfinder flips up and my microphone attaches to the top of my camera so that is not gonna work because then I won't be able to see myself and I don't know if I can focus or if I'm in the center of the frame so hopefully I can find a way to attach it differently to my camera I have it just hanging down right now <laughs> somehow still working if not it's fine we will figure it out I am so determined I feel like the microphone on my camera honestly isn't that bad but I noticed that there's a huge difference in audio between my voiceover microphone that I'm currently using I'll grab it in a second it's just an old one I just feel like maybe y'all would want to see it for some reason I would want to see it so anyway there's a huge difference in audio between my voiceover microphone that I use and my camera microphone and it bugs my ears to hear the difference so if I ever like needed to voice over something in a video and I was trying to use my camera microphone it would sound super different I don't know if anyone cares but it bothers me because I'm a perfectionist <laughs> I'm hoping and it's looking promising like this microphone should both work with my camera and I'll be able to put it on that tripod. I've already tested it out and it looks like it's going to work so good. So now I just need to see if I can plug it into my computer and just use it as a normal microphone that way, which I don't see why not. Okay, so that's enough about the microphone. I've been dying to go plant shopping for so long and I already have too many house plants. So like I don't I don't really need more. <laughs> I just at least want to go look at them. That's fun. And then if there's something that has to come home with me, then then we'll make it work. Since I put my office together and did a little remodel in here, I've been meaning to get some plants to go on top of the bookcases I have in here. Here's what I bought today. I got a philodendron because this vine is so beautiful and the leaves just seem huge and so pretty. I'm so excited. If you want the plant name, it's a heart leaf philodendron. And then I got a ZZ plant. I just am obsessed with this plant. It's so, so pretty. ZZs are nice too because they're okay if they don't get a lot of bright light, which my office is very bright, so I feel like this plant's really going to thrive in here. This is one of my all-time favorite plants. It is a Brazilian heartleaf philodendron. I can't get over how each leaf looks just like a painting. It's so pretty. Each one is so unique. 
And then they didn't have any pothos at the store, which I was really surprised, because usually that's a really easy plant to find. But that's okay, I just stole one out of my kitchen. They're super easy to propagate, so I'll either just make a new plant, or if I see one for cheap later, I'll snag it. And then they didn't have very many pots to choose from at the store, so I had to get this big one, but it's a little bit too big for these plants. And since I plan on just keeping them in the nursery pot, I was thinking I would just take one of my old nursery pots, put it at the bottom, there, set it on top. And on the shelf, you won't even be able to tell. Good news, I went shopping through my pots that I already have, just old ones that I used to have plants in, which I should have done to begin with, but I forgot before we went. But that's perfect. Much better. Much, much better. It's looking so cute already. Oh, I love it so much. Now I'm like, there's a big gap in the middle. What do I do, get another plant? I'm not very good with decorating, but this office is slowly coming together. This is just literally my dream space. So if you are looking for low maintenance houseplants, this is what you need. Monstera. Easiest plant ever. Snake plant, easiest plant ever. ZZ plant, easiest plant ever. <laughs> Philodendron and pothos. All easiest plants ever. Not high maintenance, so chill, and so pretty. Look what just arrived. My adapter for my microphone. Let's put this on my camera and see how it works. I'm loving this whole setup so much. This microphone adapter or whatever it's called is so freaking nice. It was so easy to put everything together, get it attached to my camera. And now I can see myself and have my microphone on the side. So hopefully I sound good. I love so much that I can use it with a tripod. It was only like 12, $13. Highly recommend it. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I am so grateful and so happy to have you here. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a like. That just helps out my channel so much and gives me good feedback of what type of content you're into so that I can hopefully make more of it. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and tap the screen here. I'll link another video that I think that you'll like. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next video.